uh, in most of you are familiar with Newton uh, second law namely F equal in A F is a force and um, M is a mass and A is the acceleration so the metric system um, metric or SI standard international system the mass is given in kilogram the acceleration is in meter per second squared And we define the force as Newton. We're going to say that um, the force F in Newton. We're going to say that one Newton equal one kilogram times one meter per second squared. And that's the definition of, of Newton. Now uh, this is. We are using kilograms um, both for uh, mass and, and the weight. But really, the kilogram is, is a unit of mass. Weight is a force. So what is, what is the weight? Well, weight is, uh, let's write here a note about the weight, OK? Um, weight equals mass times um, normally gravity because that's what the force that apply so weight is a force gravity is, is since gravity is uh, acceleration so the weight is a force and in the in metric unit we're going to say that the weight of uh, one kilogram um, the weight of of one kilogram mass is given by W, the weight, will be one kilogram mass. Gravity G is 9.8 meter per second squared. Right? So we end up having 9.8 Newton. So one kilogram is really 9.8 Newton. Now you, we live in a country where we use still the British Imperial units, but those of you who came here from Europe or um, Central and South America, their weight is measured in kilogram. Well, if a person weighs uh, 100 kilograms, then the person weighs 980 Newton terms of uh, proper unit of weight. What about the imperial uh, units? Which is, to me, is a great anachronism, but whatever, you know, we are using it here. If the force is measured in pound, again, pound is kind of, uh, some people use it for mass, and the uh, actually we'll stop right here the force is in pound and that's it now what is the work we're going to say that the um, when it comes to work we say that <coughs> the work requires to move an object a 
a distance of one meter by applying a force of one newton um, is given by okay, what we're going to say is uh, <clears throat> we're going to say that W the work equal F times d. Again, f is the force and d is the distance. Okay, metric unit. Um, I'm going to say that the force of um, one Newton multiplied by a distance of one meter is equal to one joule. So the unit will be joule. Um, let's say one Newton multiplied by one uh, meter equals one joule. So the work is in unit of joules. Like so, indicate by J. So J equals M times N times N. In terms of units. Okay, this is the metric unit, imperial unit. Uh, we're going to measure the distance in, in feet. So we're going to say that um, one pound times one foot equals motor creative foot pound. Those are the units. So W will be in foot pound. The reason we say foot pound is uh, because we have pound foot, which indicates something else. So those are the units. <clears throat> 